Welcome to my PM archive. In this video, we are going to talk about the Assassin's Creed universe and why I like it. One of the things I like about the games is that they take place in um, real historical settings and it's a new place every single time, a new country, a new culture, a different uh, time period. You get to see how the world has changed throughout the time and uh, what technology is available and how do people use it, how do the assassins and temples are using it. Um, you get to see historical events like the Boston Tea Party or for instance, uh, by the way spoilers for Assassin's Creed Origins, you get to see the assassination of Caesar and you get to see um, new people in, from these different time periods every single time. Historical people like Rodrigo Borgia, Benedict Arnold or Leonardo da Vinci. And you get to see the um, creators of the game's interpretation on how these people are and um, how they behaved and who they were and their importance to the history. I also like then whenever a new Assassin's Creed game comes out it's also very interesting to speculate about um, the time period, who is going to be a member of the Templar Order, which historical person is going to be a part of this conspiracy, and how are the assassins going to deal with this? How are the assassins going to be a part of history this time, and how is our newest assassin going to uh, react to different historical periods and meeting historical figures and how is that going to be interpreted in the new games? Something I learned and has come to appreciate is that there's a lot of uh, real-life connections to the Assassins and Templar Orders in history. I thought the Assassins was a completely made-up organization, but it turns out there's historical roots in the real world. There was a um, sort of Assassin Order they were known as, and I'm probably going to pronounce this word completely and utterly wrong, but assassins. Um, and when you can see how the words sort of developed, assassin, assassin, how those two words connect, um, they were a secretive order of people who fought in the time period of the first Assassin's Creed game. They were known to assassinate people in broad daylight. That's how they became so uh, infamous because they weren't <laughs> fighting in the shadows. You would, you would see the attacks. You would see them uh, kill people. But uh, I like the fact that they have had like their um, own uh, fortresses in the mountains, like Masyaf, and they had their old man in the mountains, like the original assassin's uh, mentor. So there is historical um, roots to this all to this order. Um, and there's of course the great mystery of the real world Templars, how they got to their power, how they became so rich, um, which they of course have taken in the games and interpreted as them finding um, apples of Eden and getting powerful and manipulating things in the shadows. I like the fact that the, the both orders has an historical um, counterpart in the real world. One thing I've also really liked in the Assassin's Creed universe has always been the first civilization. These um, alien beings who came to Earth and um, raised humanity and used their incredible technology to do amazing things and the relics they have left behind. I always loved learning about them and how they worked in this uh, universe and who they were and what their motivations were and this amazing technology and their background and it's always been a big part of the Assassin's Creed universe and I always liked this sort of mysterious um, thing about them. We don't really know everything about them but we know bits and pieces and we know some of them and I really liked uh, this aspect of the games and the universe that there were this also worldly power which have shaped um, the human society, human civilization. Um, throughout all the time with its mastic, magical artifacts that not many people know about, but they have this huge impact on history. 
And although the modern time storyline is has gone a bit down recently, I really liked it when it was there to see how the Templars and the Assassin Order has changed, uh, how they have adapted to modern times. Um, for instance, Abstergo, how um, the Templar Order now has this uh, big company which people know about, but they don't know who controls it. Um, with this huge financial um, resources and how the assassins had sort of uh, gone into hiding and uh, almost become like a little terror se- terrorist cells um, attacking Abstergo using uh, hacking and other technology to achieve their goals. I've also always liked um, a lot of the main characters like Ezio Auditori, the Ferenzi. Um, I probably said that completely honestly wrong. Um, I liked his story going from this young um, romantic um, man to this um, assassin who took on a lot of responsibility and always sought to save his family and um, in the end um, starting his own family. Um, I liked seeing him grow from this very romantically involved um, young man who flirted with all the girls to finding his uh, true love and settling down. Um, And now we're going to get into some spoilers from some of the newer games. I know that I just spoiled a bit from Assassin's Creed, um, well, all all the Assassin's Creed involving it too, but I hope that doesn't... um, offend anyone. Um, I liked the Fry Twins in the new, newer game Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I really liked seeing the dynamic between Jacob and Evie Fry, how they, um, as brother and sister, uh, and v- as very different people, one of them is very tactical, the other one is very, um, I'll just do what I want, um, it, it will solve itself. Um, how how they handled their differences and how they as ended up um, arguing a lot and breaking up, but um, found back together. And I liked that they were this family dynamic between them. You could sort of relate to them as brother and sister. And in Assassin's Creed Unity, I really liked seeing the. Um, romantic involvement between Arno and Elise, how a assassin and Templar ended up um, joining forces and how their different viewpoints was portrayed between the two of them, not like good and evil, but just talking about the difference between their respective orders. And now we're going into spoilers for um, Assassin's Creed Origins. I really liked the new character, Bayek, and his tragic um, story of tracking down the people responsible for his son's death, and how him and Aya uh, coped with this, how they worked together to accomplish this goal. Um, I really liked the two of them as characters. They were very interesting and had this um, focused goal and very different thoughts about how to accomplish their goal and who to support. Um, Bayek didn't really want to support Cleopatra, but I really admired her and respected her. And I liked seeing the two of them together. They were a very great uh, couple. One thing I've always liked throughout the different Assassin's Creed games is the philosophy of the Assassins versus the Templars. This um, different philosophy of how do we achieve Peace. Is it the Templar way of order and control? Is that peace? Can that achieve um, peace in a good and right way? Or do you follow the way of the assassins that everything is permitted and that personal freedom is the greatest thing and it must be protected despite um, it may be leading to more deaths? I really like seeing this uh, different viewpoint between the two orders. And always having this in the back of my mind, um, who is actually right? Because who doesn't want peace and uh, control and, and wants there to be no wars? But 
but no one wants to lose their personal uh, freedom. So it's a really hard one to figure out um, which is right and which is wrong, and we usually only get to see the assassin way, but there has been um, small things where we get to hear a little bit more about the Templar viewpoint, and it's always interesting to see their uh, side of it and how they interpreted their ac- interpret their accent. And now to my last point. Ever since the first Assassin's Creed, I've always uh, liked the idea of the animus, of being able to see the past as it occurred, and follow your ancestors to see how um, how were they, who did they interact with, how was their life. I really like the idea of this machine being able to tell us um, the past as it happened. But, um, of course, not everyone would have as an exciting a past as the Assassin's some would probably just <laughs> do very mundane things, but I still think it would be interesting to see, um, to get a glimpse into these ordinary lives. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will consider subscribing to see more videos in the future. Um, as always, this has been My Opinion Archive, and remember, nothing is true, everything is permitted.